Hey folks, this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. Do your tomatoes have black spots on the ends of them? Well, it's from a condition that's called blossom end rot. So today on the farm vlog, we're gonna talk to you a little bit about the causes and ways to prevent blossom end rot on your tomatoes. It's really, really disappointing when you grow a beautiful tomato crop and every one of the tomatoes has a little black spot on the end. That's just not cool. So today on the vlog, we'll show you how to avoid that and help you out in the garden. All right? Stony Ridge. From Stony Ridge. Stony Ridge Farm. So guys, we're out here in the garden today and we're picking the tomatoes. And it just occurred to me that a lot of people don't know the causes of blossom end rot. And they also don't know the causes of this little scenario. You see how that tomato is cracked right there. So a few little tips on growing your tomatoes to prevent blossom end rot. Everyone has these, they're eggshells. So when you eat eggs, save your eggshells back, keep them back, compost your eggshells. Now, if you're not composting in your backyard, I encourage you to compost. All that food that goes to waste either needs to go to the chickens or needs to go to the compost heap so that you're living right. That's enough compost lecture for you. What we do in order to grow a wonderful, good, voracious garden and prevent situations like this with the crack or this with the blossom end rot is we put eggshells in our compost. Now you can take your eggshells and crumble them up right out of the refrigerator as soon as you use them and put them underneath your tomato plants and that will help with blossom end rot. Blossom end rot is caused by a deficiency in calcium in your soil. What you're doing is putting calcium into the soil and there's a free calcium source that you can tap into right in your refrigerator every day. Now if you do that I promise you your blossom end rot problems will be solved. I spoke to a master gardener about this and this is the advice that I got. Now, we'll throw that to the chickens. Another thing you can do to help in your garden is have your chickens, your composters, right here beside your garden. So when you got a rotten tomato like that, you don't have to worry about it. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is this. This little crack right here in the tomato. Now some of them look a whole lot worse than this and what's happened is it's rained or you've watered your tomatoes after it started to change color. Once it starts to change color, the skin stops growing, but the pulp of the tomato can continue to grow and thus your tomato gets fat and pops. So the thing to do is pick your tomatoes as soon as you start seeing a color change. Once you pick that tomato, it will stop growing, it will ripen, and I swear to you, it will taste no different than a vine ripened tomato. Once the color change starts, you can go ahead and pick it, set it in the house, and we'll show you how to store it. Here's how we store our tomatoes, down, just like that. So this side, the blossom end goes up and the stem end goes down. Store them on a countertop, but don't store them touching each other. Don't store them bumped up against anything. Make sure that they can get plenty of airflow around them and they'll last for weeks and weeks on your countertop. Not in the refrigerator, don't put them in a plastic bag, put them right on your countertop with the blossom end up. And this is where the flower would be, and that's where the stem would be. Now this is going to the chickens. Score. So guys, I hope this helps you out in your garden. I hope you'll click that little subscribe link wherever it is down there, and check out some other videos. We've got lots of awesome, awesome gardening tips here for you on the farm channel, and just lots of good stuff here on the farm. So thanks a lot, guys. Be sure, pound that like button, subscribe to the channel, click the little bell icon, it'll notify you when I post a new video, then we can learn and grow together and grow an awesome garden and feed our families. All right? Woo! Well, come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be Stony Ridge.